I think everyone that is interested in facial attractiveness and face ratings have heard of the golden ratio at some point or another. It's a term that gets thrown around a lot so I decided to discuss it today and give my opinion on it. We will be going over the meaning of the golden ratio and its history, how can it be used in determining if someone is attractive or not. I'm going to teach you guys how to use it, we will be learning together. And I want to give my opinion on how accurate the golden ratio is when it comes to determining how attractive a person is. And if you guys want a facial analysis done by me with personalized look maxing advice, link will be down in the description. Without further ado, let's get this video started. The golden ratio, also known as phi or the Fibonacci number, is the mathematical symmetry algorithm that underlies our perception of attractiveness. The Italian Renaissance polymath Leonardo da Vinci used the golden ratio equation and realized that the closer a face or object gets to this number, the higher level of his perceived beauty. In fact, Leonardo is thought to have used the golden ratio when painting the Mona Lisa. Studies of the most beautiful women in the world have shown that they have countless instances of this ratio in their faces. This proves symmetry to be a key factor in perceived attractiveness. Some scientists believe that we perceive proportional bodies to be healthier. Likewise, if a face is in proportion, we are more likely to find it beautiful. Others think that we tend to perceive a face more aesthetically appealing when it comes to the golden ratio, because the human eye can process it faster and that causes our brain to feel pleased. The golden ratio is not just observed in humans, but it is actually used in architecture and artwork as well. It also occurs in nature in the patterns we sometimes see in sunflowers, pine cones, seashells and other plants and animals. So yeah, this was a dumbed down explanation of the golden ratio and its relation to facial attractiveness. I didn't want to go in depth into the history of the golden ratio because I know you guys are interested in how to measure your proportions. So for you to follow along there's two or three methods I guess. I use photoshop to measure the proportions of the face. If you don't have photoshop then print out an image of you A4 format and you can measure along. The last method is to have someone with you in real life using calipers to get accurate measurements. As for me I stick to photoshop. First we get the measurements of the length and width of the face. You can do that by measuring from the top of the face to the point of the chin. Then measure the width of the face at its widest point, which is usually at your cheekbones. The ideal result as defined by the golden ratio is roughly 1.6, which means a beautiful person's face is about one and a half time longer than it is wide. Next we measure three segments of the face, from the forehead hairline to a spot between the eyes, from between the eyes to the bottom of the nose and from the bottom of the nose to the bottom of the chin. If the numbers are equal, a person is considered more beautiful. Finally, we measure other facial features to determine symmetry and proportions. On a perfect face, the length of an ear is equal to the length of the nose and the width of an eye is equal to the distance between the eyes. Now this is a very simplified version on how to calculate the golden ratio of your face. Now we're gonna go into the in-depth version where we can actually calculate percentages. You're gonna have to take a photo or print it, then mark all the key points just like in the pictures. We can measure 7 ratios. And then you divide the final results by the phi number to get the percentage number of how close you are to the golden ratio. On each ratio measures if that makes any sense. First, top of the head to chin divided by width of the head. Second, top of the head to the pupils divided by pupils to the lips. Third, nose tip to chin divided by lips to the chin. Fourth, nose tip to the chin divided by pupil to the nose tip fifth width of the nose divided by nose tip to the lips sixth outside distance between the eyes divided by hairline to the pupil seventh length of the lips divided by width of the nose the closer each ratio get to 1.618 the more ideal it is and the more attractive you would be well i do use some aspects of the golden ratio to calculate the proportions of the faces of my clients to give accurate advice on what haircut to go for and what beer length to grow to add proportions back to the face but i noticed something there are some faces that does not score high on the golden ratio but they are still considered highly attractive i don't think the golden ratio takes into account a person's ethnicity eye shape the cantal tilt of the eyes the fullness of the eyebrows how lean the face is or does it have hollow cheekbones i can keep going and if I just use the golden ratio to rate faces, then I would be handing out 4s and 5s like hot candy. And I'm gonna end up turning into my worst enemy, the true rate me subreddit. Gives me shivers every time. So yeah, the golden ratio does help me know how to add proportions back to the face. But in my opinion, I don't consider it 100% accurate. This is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. 
If you dig my content and like usual, catch you guys in the next one.